Hi, my name is Alex. Thanks for watching another episode of the Coin Product Show. Today, I want to talk about the Iwatani Torch Burner, which is this item that I'm holding right here. This is one of our top sellers. It's great for searing things, whether at home or at a restaurant professionally. The way to use this is actually very simple. You simply twist it onto a Iwatani butane gas can, and by opening it up here, you allow the gas to flow through into the chamber of the torch. And press ignition, you will go ahead and light the torch itself. And to turn it off, you simply twist the knob close and you're good to go. One other thing I should mention is that by adjusting the knob in the front here, you can actually control the spread of the flame. So whether you want sort of a jet-like flame that concentrates on one spot or you want the flame to be much softer and much more spread out, you can adjust it accordingly. Now for example, I'm going to make a very simple tuna tataki as well as a cream boulet with a torch just to show you how easy it is for someone to just go ahead and use it at home. As most of you already know, the cream boulet is simply a flan with a, a hardened coat of sugar on top, which is that that's what we're going to use the Iwatani torch for to melt the sugar. So I have already prepared a flan before this video. So what we're going to do is simply put a generous amount of sugar right on top of the flan, spread it out evenly. I'm using granulated sugar. You, you could use um, just regular crystal sugar or any sort of uh, small fine sugar. That's fine as well. So after you have, I have made an even layer on top of the flan, I'm gonna go ahead and set this torch to be on spread. We don't, we don't want it to have the, the jet since it's going to, um, to burn the cream blade itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it on wide, turn on the torch, okay? And you can sort of hear from the sound that this is a, a much wider spread flame. And I'm gonna go ahead and slowly go over until I see it start to brown. Okay. And it starts to sizzle a little bit and go ahead and take it off. Okay. You don't want to, to hold the flame on there for too long because once it starts bubbling, it will sort of spread around to the, to the other um, sugar particles on the side. If you keep it on for too long until it's black, when you take it off, the entire thing might be burnt. So with the tuna tataki, it's actually something that's very simple. You can simply buy a piece of tuna from your local supermarket. And what I'm going to do is sprinkle some shishimi on top of it, which is the Japanese um, pepper. This one in particular, I like this because this has some of the yuzu flavoring in it as well. So go ahead, just gotta make sure it's um, nice and spread out. I'll put some on the other side as well. I mean, depend how heavy you want the flavor is really gonna be depending on yourself. I personally like to put a little bit of extra. Okay, so after that, again, take out your trusty little Iwatani torch and just go ahead and put on spread heat as usual and go ahead and sear the outside of it. You don't want to do it too much. You just want the outside to be nice and white. All right, make sure it's nice and even. And that's it, we're pretty much done. And okay, go ahead, remove it off the plate. I'm going to thin slice it. And pretty much just like that, you could either um, add some ponzu dipping sauce if you like to, and you could have a nice simple little meal like that. All right, so I hope you find this episode to be useful. As usual, the details about this torch burner can be found in the description. There will be a link available if you want to make any purchase or have any further questions. Um, until the next video, my name is Alex.